I was sent this battery life indicator and monitor and asked to give my opinion on it, make this short video, so here it goes. Here's everything that we sent to you. You're gonna get the battery monitor itself. It comes with two holes pre-drilled for you to put mounting screws. So if you cut a hole in your dash to set this in, you'll have some uh, ability to just screw that right into place. It's got three uh, connections on the back, a, new, uh, a negative, and then also a positive here, and then a switched power connection here. Let's take a look at the options that you get with this, because this will cover several different types of voltage, uh, depending on the type of vehicle that you're using. If you're using a golf cart, it's got several batteries in parallel or in serial, you're gonna have different voltages. The instructions are really clear. It's showing you how to do your connections based on with if you've got 12 volts all the way up to 72 volts. So what they're gonna do is ask you to make different changes to the dip switches that are on this device itself. Now those dip switches are held behind, you can just see it behind this little rubber cover here on this switch. So what you're gonna to have to do is just pop that off. Just take a little knife with a sharp edge. Just gonna pop this off. And with that cover removed, now I can see the three dip switches in there. So I'm going to need to do a combination of those three according to my guideline here. It's currently set with, with switch number one, two, and three all to the one position. And that's going to be for 12 volts. That's the most common. But say I had to switch it to 24 volt system. I'm going to need dip switch one and two set to one and dip switch number three set to zero. So I'll show you how I'm going to do that. This is your zero and your one position. And right now, one, two, and three, they're all down. They're all set to the one position. Now I'm just gonna take my knife here, I'm gonna move number three up to the zero position like that. And now I'm set for 24 volts. It's just as easy as that. If you wanted to go all the way the other way, you can go to 72 volts, you're gonna set um, zero, zero, and one. So it's gonna be just the reverse of what we did here. So we're gonna go one for number three, zero for number two, and zero for number one. And now we're set to 72 volts. So this is gonna accommodate all kinds of different options. No matter what you have, you're gonna be able to use it. Uh, 12 volts, 24, 36, 48, 60, or 72. All those combinations are accessible right here by the dip switch. When you're done, you're just gonna go ahead and put your cover back on here, keep the water out of the switch, keep it protected. And now we're ready to go install this in my UTV. I am most likely going to install the battery monitor right over here. I've got some flat panel space, so I'll just cut a slot here to slide the battery monitor back in through there, mounted in here. So I've got visibility on my dash like my other warning lights here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wire it through back to my cigarette lighter where I've got some on off uh, switched power. So then when my switch is put to the on position, I'll be able to get that reading off of the battery monitor to see where my status is uh, for my battery. So what I'm gonna do now before I go and do all that install, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and do a quick test and show you how that works using it right off of my cigarette lighter here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my power connections uh, for this scenario according to the instruction manual. And then I'm going to use the cigarette lighter itself as my power source. So on the back here, I'll be putting my ground wire over here, and then I'll be connecting both of the other two connections with switched power, like this. So now if I look at the battery monitor, I'm gonna be able to see a reading based off of my battery um, on my vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And then I get that initial flash, let's say you know that it's working. And now I'm seeing I've got almost all my green except for one. So I've got just a little bit of charging to do on this battery to have 100% capability. Uh, very nice that it'll, as the battery is weakened, it'll slowly go one LED at a time and bring back that signal down to my danger zone around empty. Now, using it in a golf cart or a 100% electric vehicle, this is gonna be critical before you start your day to see exactly where is your power level before you start off. Uh, this has got a gas motor, so I'm gonna be able to charge it up and get that last little bit charged. But I know that I'm, I'm starting off the day here with plenty of power, shouldn't have any issues with this vehicle. Hey, I hope this video was helpful and hope this information was useful to you. And as always, I hope you have a great day.